Oilers hosting the Jets opening night hockey for these teams. And the Jets are plus 140 on the money line. The Oilers are minus 166. The over-under is six and a half goals. The Jets getting a goal and a half on the puck line are minus 180. Meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you'd win. Or if they only lose the game by one goal, you'd win. And the Oilers laying a goal and a half on the puck line are plus 150. Meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two goals or more. Basically, the exact same thing as baseball. Just look at it that way if you bet baseball. It's supposed to be Skinner in net for the Oilers and Hellebuck in net for the Jets. Head-to-head, they're 5-5 five and five against each other. The Oilers have won the last two that they played against each other. The road team is on a three-game winning streak. The home team is 5-5. Five and five. The favorites won the last two. The favorite is 6-4 and four on the money line. The underdog getting a goal and a half on the puck line is 7-3. and three. There have been five one-goal games in their last ten. The over-under is 5-5 five and five and the over-under at 6.5 goals, also 5-5. Five and five. Now, the million-dollar question is, what version of the Oilers are we going to get? Are we going to get the Oilers that started out like a dumpster fire last season and then ultimately ended up becoming the runner-ups last year? Or are we going to get the team that could have snapped the Canadian curse but did not and lost to the Panthers in the Stanley Cup? The Oilers, two out of the three games they played against each other were one-goal games. The Jets won 3-2 to two in overtime in Edmonton. Then the Oilers won the next two 3-1 to one in winning Winnipeg. And then 4-3 to three in overtime in Winnipeg. I understand the Oilers made the Stanley Cup. It's just their goaltending. When it's right, it's right. And when it's wrong, it's terrible. Um, I'm going to take the Oilers on the money line. I will take the Jets getting the goals. And I'm going to go over... I just expect the beginning games where these players didn't get a lot of repetitions in preseason where we're going to see some fluky kind of goals. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.